Hello world, welcome back to my channel. I am Sahil and I am developing a CRUD application using Bootstrap 5, PHP Oops, PDO MySQL and Fetch API of ES6. In previous video, you have seen that how I have designed this page using Bootstrap 5. Now today in this video, I am going to show you how to create database and table for this application and we will see how to create a class for database connectivity and we will also see how to define some utility methods for uh, use in this project. Okay so let's start so first i will create database and table for this project so for this open php my admin okay so here just type localhost slash php my admin and here i will create a new database so just click on new and here i will keep the database name fetch underscore crud underscore app okay then click on create now inside this database i will create a table with name users okay and here just click on go now here you can see there are total four input fields okay so here our first column will be id and type will be int length will be 11 mark this a column as auto increment and make this primary key okay now our second column is for first underscore name type will be worker and length will be 100 next last underscore name type will be worker and length will be 100 now next is for email okay type will be worker and length will be 255 and next will be phone type will be worker and length will be 20 okay now next i will also use created underscore at and type will be timestamp by default i will select current timestamp okay now next will be updated underscore at and this is also a timestamp tab and by default i will store null okay now click on save so now you can see our database and table are now ready okay now open your project so this is my project directory crud underscore uh, sorry crud uh, hyphen app okay and inside this uh, directory i have already created a file index.php okay and uh, today what i will do is i will create a new file config.php file and in that file i will write uh, php codes to connect this application to this database okay so let's create a new file that is config.php file okay now inside this file i will use a uh, php oop concept so here i will use class <coughs> config now inside this class i will <coughs> declare some member uh, constant okay so for this i will use private and const keyword and i will use db host equal to localhost private const db user equal to root private const db password equal to blank private const db name equal to crud underscore sorry our database name is fetch underscore crud underscore app i think this is the name of the database let's cross check okay so fetch underscore crud underscore app fetch underscore crud underscore app so this is our database name okay now next here i am using pdo to connect uh, to the mysql database okay so for this we need a dsn uh variable okay so just create a dsn variable using key uh, sorry access specifier private and dsn equal to now here i will assign a data source network okay so here i am using mysql database so just write mysql colon host now our host i will take this uh, local host from this constant db host okay so to access this db host here we have to concatenate 
and here we can use self keyword and using a scope resolution operator we can access db host okay now semicolon and then db name equal to similarly we have to concatenate self db name okay now our dsn is ready now let's create one more variable with access specifier protected now this will be our connection variable and by default i will assign null value in this connection variable okay now we will use here constructor method uh, to connect through the data uh, to the database okay so here i will write method to connect method sorry method for connection to the data base okay and here i will use public function and double underscore construct now this is the way to define constructor method in php okay now here i will use try and catch block okay and here in try i will access this uh, con variable con member variable using this keyword and here i will assign a uh, a pdo class new pdo and here we have to pass dsn username and password to access dsn we can use this and just pass dsn and then we have to use db username so using self keyword we can use db user similarly we can use self and db password okay now uh, we will also set an attribute so for this just use again connection variable and then use a method set attribute now here i will use pdo scope resolution operator atter sorry atter default default fetch mode okay so i will select default fetch mode pdo fetch asoc associative okay i will select pdo fetch associative method uh, associative method okay save this now here in catch i will handle the pdo exceptions okay so here just write pdo exception class and just create an object of pdo exception and here i will display any if any exception uh occurs okay so here just write error and then using dollar e we will use a method get message here okay so now our this method is ready okay now to check this is working or not we have to just use an echo statement here to check this is working or not if everything is fine then we have to uh see this success message on the browser okay so let's come to the browser and here we will write config.php file okay okay so the success message is not displaying here because we have not created any object of this config class okay so just here create an object ob equal to new config okay now save and come here and refresh now you can see success message is showing it means our connectivity to the database is working fine okay so no need to create an object here so just remove this and also remove this echo statement okay now next i will create another class for some utility methods that will be used in this project okay so for this let's create a new file util.php okay now inside this file i will also create another class with uh, name util now inside this class what i will do is i will uh, create i will define a method to sanitize all inputs input fields okay so for this i for i will write a comment first method for input value sanitization sanitization okay now here i will write public 
function test input and here I will pass data now here I will use data equal to trim okay and just pass data now this method will remove all white spaces from the input values okay now again I will use sorry data equal to strip slashes now this method will remove all uh, slashes from the uh, input values now again we will use data equal to HTML a special char okay now this will convert HTML a special character into HTML entities okay so just use this also finally we will use strip underscore tags okay now this will also remove any HTML tag like a script uh, head body like this type of tag will be removed from the uh, input field okay now simply return data okay so we will use this uh, method in our controller file later okay so now next I will create one more method for displaying a dynamic error and success message okay so for this here I will write method method for displaying displaying success and error message so here I will define a method with uh, name so message and here I will pass two parameter type and message okay now here I will use bootstrap alert okay so it will just return so just come here in the browser and open git bootstrap.com okay so we are using bootstrap 5 so just use v5.getbootstrap.com click on docs and click on components and click on alert okay so just come here we will use dis dismissable bootstrap alert okay so this is the dismissable bootstrap alert so just copy and come here just paste okay now just remove this dummy text and align this properly okay now here you can see alert warning it means here we will uh, just use this type uh, type parameter here and when we will call this uh, so message method in controller file then we will assign uh, alert uh, type uh, dynamically okay so here just concatenate type okay type and in message I will also generate dynamic message so just use message parameter here okay just close this statement now our two utility methods are also ready okay so that's it for this video in next video i will show you how to validate this form let me show you in next video i will show you how to validate these input fields using bootstrap 5 method and then finally we will insert uh, these uh, input field data into database okay so thanks for watching this video please like share this video and also subscribe this channel see you soon in next video